Hey book lovers, Victoria here and watching my books me and today I am celebrating my two year anniversary on booktube. So on the 23rd of January 2015 I created My Books Are Me and although my first video didn't go up until the 31st of January that year, um, this is still like the day I created my channel, the day I decided to take that step. Um, so I'd been watching well, I've been watching YouTube since probably 2010 um, and have been obsessed with YouTube and I've always wanted to create videos but I've never known what area to create videos in. I've never really felt like I've had an interest in a particular area to create videos um, until I started watching BookTube and I think I'd been watching BookTube videos for about two or three months um, before I created my channel. I don't even know how I found this community. I don't even know who I found first. I feel like obviously it was probably the bigger booktubers that I found first, like Jessie the Reader and Caddy Tastic and Raylene from Padfoot and Prongs 07. Those booktubers, um, again, I don't really know how I found them. I, maybe they were in recommended searches. I don't really know. Um, but I found this community. I slowly started to subscribe to different people and I sort of started thinking about it and realized this that booktube was probably an area of YouTube that I would feel really comfortable in and I could make videos for. So when I decided in 2015 that I wanted to read more, I created my blog and um, I created that. I think I created that very early on in January, probably the first week or so of that year. And then I did a few blog posts, I was reading some books and then I decided that I was going to then expand and do YouTube as well. I felt confident. Like I said, I've always wanted to create videos and because I'd been now, because in 2015 I was out of high school, I'd finished one year of university, I felt a little bit more confident in making videos because I feel like if I was making videos actually in high school, I don't know. I don't know, I just felt confident because I was out of high school. I didn't have to deal with like people in high school finding out that I was making YouTube videos. That might have been a bit, a bit awkward. Um, so I created my channel and I don't know when I decided I was going to do it, but I decided my first video was going to be a book haul. I felt confident in having that as my first video and just diving straight in and talking about books that I'd bought rather than making an introductory video where I introduced myself, talked about what I liked and things like that. I just wanted to dive straight in, so that's why I obviously waited till the end of the month. But today, the 23rd, marks two years on booktube. I never actually did anything for my first booktube anniversary. Um, I think because I kind of forgot when exactly it was and then I got busy and then afterwards I realised I'd missed it, but anyway, it doesn't matter. So I thought I would celebrate being on YouTube and being in the booktube community for two years by reacting to my first video, which as I said was my January 2015 book haul. I don't think I've watched this video since early 2015. I make it a point where I don't really watch my videos after I upload them, um, depending on what they are though. So let's do this. Okay, so obviously as I said, book haul number one, January 2015. And if you'll notice, I'm actually wearing the same shirt that I was in that video. So this goes for six minutes. This is probably my shortest and one of my smallest book hauls ever. But let's go and we'll see how many books I've actually read because I'm pretty sure I haven't read many of the books I bought two years ago, which is probably bad. Hey book lovers, my name is Victoria and welcome to My Books Are Me. I'm starting my YouTube channel off with a classic book haul because that's what all booktubers do show off all the books that they bought. Despite having half my collection in desperate need of a read or a reread, I still managed to buy nine books nine in January, books. One of my which flaws. for me recently is quite a lot, but I'm sure I'll be buying plenty more as the year goes by. The first book I picked up is Fangirl read by Fangirl. Rainbow Rowell. Book. I've seen heaps of great reviews about Fangirl and uh, Rainbow Rowell's other books, Eleanor and Park, Attachments and Landline, and I want to I read like them as well. Very light. I thought Fangirl would be a good start. It is I, about I feel like I'm a bit more relaxed Rain, now than I was back then. Ren decides well, I suppose that that's fair enough because I've been making and a lot of videos, so I've like, well, relaxed down a little bit. Well, quite content uh, writing her fan fiction. However, she soon meets a guy and realises there's more to love than what she's been writing about. It sounds really good and I can't wait to start it. The next book I got is Girl Online I still have not read Girl Online and I have all Girl. three books. I, I haven't read them, I haven't so seen many of Zoella's videos kind prior of to buying the book, but I've seen a few now and I quite enjoy her content and I can't wait to read her book. The book is about a girl called Penny who blogs about her entire life online under the alias Girl Online. 
obviously. This feels so like rehearsed. She gets a really great following funny. until she it's moves kind to of, New York. I didn't think this video was as cringe no as I thought it was, but it kind of is. Which I suppose, again, fair enough. Love. Most of videos However, are has kind a secret of that could potentially see Penny's identity revealed to the world. It sounds really good, but I've seen heaps of great reviews, so I can't wait to get into it. The next book I got is Game of Thrones by Again, George another R. R. book I have not read. I am probably literally the last person on this entire I really read this year, probably I? the entire universe to actually read the book and even watch the series. But before you close the window and stop watching the video right now, I have been meaning to watch this series ever since it came out and I've just recently purchased the first three series on I DVD still haven't watched the DVD either. Watch, Seriously, read, okay. Or I'm gonna read, read start reading Game of Thrones watch, this year read, at some point, down the track. and then watch um, all so of the episodes. I hope maybe I can catch up before season five comes out in April. I hope I hope to eventually to read the entire series, but it might take a while as these books are quite thick. But I'll probably get there eventually. For those who don't know what this book is about, I'm just going off the blurb here, and it is literally about families fighting over the Iron Throne. The next book I got is The Wit and Wisdom of Tyrone. Lannister. I probably said that wrong. Don't hate me. Uh, I don't even uh, have that book anymore. This book was actually a free book that came with a Game of Thrones on Booktopia and I wasn't going to pass up the opportunity to get a free book despite not having any clue what this book was about. All it is is a collection of quotes from the you? character and it's got really cool illustrations. So right now this book means absolutely nothing to me but I'm sure once I get into the series I'll be, I will appreciate what is within this book. The next book I got is a 2015 release and that is Mobile I've Library read that by one. David Whitehouse. Um, I don't know much that about is this also book, a good book because it literally came up in my book world recommended and it's I will actually link below to the reviews it. Of it is the about this 12 year old boy called which probably Bobby won't be many links at all. Who, I'm assuming has lost his mother and doesn't really like his father and he befriends Val and her daughter Rosa who work and possibly and possibly live in the mobile library. Over the summer, they read their way through all the books and go on many book adventures like we all do. However, Val and Rosa still ha soon have to go on the run and they're travelling across the country having their own adventure with um, taking Bobby with them. It sounds really cool and sweet so I can't wait to get into it. In setting myself a reading goal this year and starting uh, My Books Are Me and this YouTube channel, I told myself I wanted to read more classics. And so I when I still haven't read more classics. Classics, I picked them up. Really? The first book I got is A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. Um, I'm probably not the only one in the world, but I know some of the works that Charles Dickens has done, but I don't know what they're about. I haven't read them. The only uh, story that I know anything about is A Christmas Carol, but that's only because I've seen the movies. A Tale of Two Cities takes place between London and Paris. I have Paris to say, my editing Revolution for this was pretty good. The working class are going up against the aristocracy, and it is about two men who risk their lives to save each other during this time. I reckon I'm going to really enjoy this because I absolutely love, absolutely love historic fiction and work of this era and and stories of this era. So hopefully I will love it. The next book I got is Dracula. By I haven't Maranzo. read that either. Again, my knowledge of Dracula stops at the fact that he's a vampire. So I really want to read the classic story before I get into modern retellings. What happens is a solicitor heads over to Transylvania from London to visit Dracula because he, Dracula is planning to buy some real estate in London. I tell and you what, my walls have changed. Crazy shit goes Simpsons. down, and they realise that it is All Dracula that's in that who's blank gap in the and, corner of these bookshelves. Uh, they so. realise they have to ritually kill him in order to save everyone. The next book I got is A Journey to the Centre of the Earth by Jules Verne. I've been wanting to read as this you can story see, I started ever since this, I saw the movie, and that's probably as far as I got, and I have not read it since. Series. I finally got around to buying it and I've already started it. I'm not that far in, but enjoying it so far. It's a weird story it's about though. Professor Lidenbrock who discovers a uh, very old parchment. The, I feel like it changed perspectives code and written on it, that he I don't is, know. That he is determined good book. I should really to, pick it up again. Uh, that he is determined to translate and it eventually tells him that he can get to the center of the earth. So him and his nephew Axel so him and his nephew Axel travel there and discover the wonders and dangers that live inside the earth. I'm enjoying it so far, so hopefully it gets even better. And finally, the last book I got is Jane Eyre by Charlotte. I did Bronte. read that one, but I have um, a different edition now. Again, I read it for Jane Eyre, so and the fact that, that it's was by really Charlotte good. Bronte. And for years now, I keep confusing like Jane Eyre with Jane Austen, which is annoying me. So I kind of want to read the book so then I don't confuse it anymore. I actually read um, both of those books. And all I can gather from Jane Eyre is it is it is about a woman pioneering the Victorian era. So I'm kind of excited to read this, but kind of not. I just kind of want to read it to say that I've read it and to understand the story because it is a literary classic. 
Look at them all. I hope you guys all enjoyed this book haul. I hope you guys got some sort of inspiration for your next read. Make sure you subscribe and follow on Twitter and Twitter and Facebook to keep up to date with to keep up to date with what I'm reading and my reviews, etc. etc. Bye. That wasn't too bad. That was not too bad. I only read three books from that book haul. Um, meaning I've owned every other book for two years, which is not a good thing, I don't think, the fact that I've got so many unread books from two years ago. Um, but yeah, that wasn't actually too bad. It definitely was a bit more cringier than I thought it was, again, because I hadn't seen it for two years. Um, but I definitely think it could have been worse. Like, there are so many, you know, every YouTuber has a first video, and some of the bigger YouTubers who have been here on the platform for so long have really cringy videos, but I think the further we get into YouTube becoming like a sort of a normal thing, um, and the more people that start creating content, I think like the less cringy first videos get because we've like watched so many videos. Um, at least that's what I feel like because I'd been watching YouTube for so long and then because I'd been watching booktubers I sort of had an idea in my head about how I wanted to make how I wanted the video to come across as and who I and some people I wanted to sort of emulate um, but yeah that was kind of cool to watch that I feel like I should probably start like every month at the start of every month I should start watching a book haul from two years ago and pick a book from that that I haven't read yet and read it that month I might do that. That is actually a really good idea, but I don't know if I will. I'm having fun at the moment just reading anything. I've kind of stopped doing TBR videos, but anyway. So, before I finish, I just want to say a big thank you to all 220 people who have clicked that subscribe button. You guys are awesome. I can't believe that I've been doing this for two years. That 220 people have felt like clicking the subscribe button. Um, like, that's insane. Like, that's really weird to think about. Um, because I, like, you know, I subscribe to a lot of people and watch new videos and subscribe to new channels, but I, it's, it's weird to think about that happening to you, that people are stumbling across your videos somehow, whether it's recommended videos, whether you see them on social media, um, and then clicking subscribe. It's kind of weird, but thank you to everyone, whether you were here from day one, whether you subscribed last week, it means so much um, that people care enough about what I have to say to actually want to see my videos in their subscription feed um, and thank you to the people who um, always come back to videos who always comment on them who give them likes like it's always great to have notifications that I've got a new comment on videos and just to interact with you guys um, I feel like YouTube is just a great platform for the book community and I feel like the online book community is amazing there are definitely some negatives which I don't want to discuss because that's where the negatives come from, discussing them. Um, but there are so many positives about this community and I love being a part of it. I love being a part of it, not just the booktube community, but just like the online book community in general, whether it be blogging, Instagram, Twitter. Um, we're a really great community and I'm really, I've had a really fun time being involved in it and I can't wait to see what the future brings. I've got some really great ideas for future videos, but I just need to get around to actually planning them out a bit more and sitting down and filming them. Um, so hopefully I'll get some really cool videos up for you guys this year, otherwise it's just going to be the basics, which I'm happy with. I don't, um, you know, I'm happy with doing just the basic haul, wrap-ups, TBRs, um, review videos and some tags. I'm happy with that. That's what I've done for the past two years and it's worked. That's what I've done for the past two years and it's worked for me and I'm happy with continuing that. I don't feel the need to be like crazy and like trying to get out there and get my name seen or anything like that. I'm just happy with creating videos like this and I can't wait to bring you guys more content. So thank you guys so much for watching. It's great to know that there are people watching. Um, I feel like I, while I probably still would be creating videos after all this time if I didn't have many people watching, it's just nice to know that when I, uh, you know, when I film a video, when I edit and upload it, that there are going to be a good number of people tuning into it um, and it's just a nice feeling knowing that there are definitely people out there who are interested in hearing your opinions. So thank you guys so much for watching. It does mean a lot. And I will see you guys soon with another video. Here is to another two years on BookTube. Bye.